Hey guys, and welcome back to Auction Not Included, Clay's Amazing Space Colony Simulator Extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy, and we are on the Rock Full of Brains, now spread across three separate asteroids out there in the wilds of space. We've recently taken over the, the asteroid of Blagolia over here. I say we, we have got a population of exactly two robots on this rock right now, and I really want to try and change that particular situation over here. I think we're going to have to deconstruct this bed. We need to go ahead and build ourselves a bit more of a, a stable sleeping arrangement for our new passenger that we're going to have on board here. Let's have a look. Cure is going to take a little while to do it because, of course, it's night time. Okay, the next day, Curie has managed to come along and build everything. I've also managed to put her on the the crew manifest here. I'm going to say, hey, can all the crew actually come back? Because I need to start moving you off this way. There is indeed no landing pad on our new new asteroid as of the moment so we need to try and use a mo module that is inbuilt on our rocket if i look along the outside here you can see that we've got what's called a trail blazer module made out of tungsten that's an interesting choice there i will be uh, loading curie up into that and firing her down to the planet so hopefully we can get a proper rocket pad land uh, rocket pad created so that we can land the venistat 11? Is that Venistat 11? I think so. All right, well, every, everybody seems to be in here. We've got everything sorted uh, where it comes to our destination. Let's have a look. The landers are ready. Additional landers. Which one's not ready? The trailblazer itself is not ready. Let's, let's just make sure that gets done. Okay, Ruben adding the last to our trailblazer module here. I've got enough tungsten inside, I believe. No more errands. Oh, build. We still need to build. A complex and many faceted process sending a uh, new duplicate off to a new asteroid. Who who would have guessed? Who would have guessed? Okay, there is a trailblazer lander on board. That's 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 all I needed. That's all I needed. Let's acknowledge those warnings and let's begin the launch sequence. We're going to be sending Curie off to the orbit of Blagolia over here. I was just wondering whether Ruben's going to make it out without getting fried, but that's okay. We've got some steel down on the floor. I wonder where that has come from. We definitely did not melt it. I, I know this. I know this for, well, almost a fact. Maybe we did. Maybe we did. Whilst we've got the Venistat flying out to get into orbit of Blagolia, we also have the Peace Cap uh, Calpana coming back with with Plank on board, busy turning a whole bunch of plastic into orbital uh, collect, uh, orbital data there. Unfortunately, feeling a little bit of the radiation, about to come up to a serious problem state here. Literally just about to make their way back though. Uh, less than a cycle remaining on that particular trip. And when he returns, oh boy, do I have a mission for him. We need to send him back to reverse limb because I think we're missing a little bit of our research. If I come along and have a look at the rocketry. Oh, we, we needed to have it to make the, uh, the the drill cone. Oh, never mind. I was going to say I needed to research these. We're, we're going to send him back anyway to finish off some of the pressurized forging and stuff like that. I didn't want skills. I wanted research. But the, the, the thing I was after was interplanetary launchers and the targeting beacons so that we can start sending materials back and forth between our different asteroids. Pyaxon in particular has a whole bunch of material that he could send out. Uh, plastics and uh, maybe sand? I don't know how we're doing for our sand here. Yeah, we got we got plenty of sand. It'd be nice to send some over to Blagolia. Plank suddenly not having the greatest of times. Thankfully, really not too far off of being back home. Let's go back to the uh, the star map here. Point two cycle. Still waiting half a cycle for our main mission. Let's get back to the uh, planetoid. Asking for another incubator to be put into place for our lava eggs because we are starting to overflow with the carbon dioxide here. We're not quite keeping up with the repopulation, so hopefully that will help. Okay, Plank is returning home, and honestly, not a moment too soon. If we can have a look in here, yeah, still more vomit everywhere. Carbon dioxide is starting to take over. There's polluted oxygen in here. We did, however, make many data bank, 182 units of data bank. So that that's pretty sweet. That's, of course, going to go towards... Uh, our yellow science? I think it's yellow science. Either yellow or the orange science. It goes towards one or the other. 
Uh, this is not quite the way round I was expecting this to go. Curie seems to be doing all of the orbital data. I didn't even know she had the skills to do this. Let's have a look. Where's her, uh... Yeah, I didn't know... Look, I thought you needed the astronomy skill. Uh, turns out, no. Anyone can do the orbital collection... Uh, orbital data collection. Okay, crazy. Okay, back on Pyaxlin. Uh, first off, let's let's make some rad pills. Let's let's make like ten rad pills. I don't know who's gonna get to that. Hopefully, someone. Franklin, very high on the priorities there. Okay, that's that's pretty cool. Oh, radiation vomit somewhere. Yeah, here we go. Plank having a bad time. Let's see if we can try and get on top of that before it lands anywhere. Uh, of course, we would like to try and get Plank back down out of the radiation band. I don't know why he's decided just to kind of be in the, one of the worst places we have. May, maybe he likes that sweet tingling sensation. Who knows? Okay, I just got a little warning telling me that the rocket is up in orbit. So Trailblazer module. We're going to select Curie. We're going to go deploy and we're going to put it down here. Yes, that's that's what we did. Why did it take it away from me? It's, it's, it looks like she has left the rocket though here we go here we go all right beautiful so with the first things we've got to try and do with curie is of course set up the basic needs toilets um is there even dirt here oh man is there even dirt here there's polluted dirt maybe we could uh set up a, a composter for yeah okay let, 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 let's throw down some things right here that i think are just going to be important um we could probably set up a proper toilet somewhere Maybe over in this corner. Let's get the uh, let's get the robots on it as well. Curie will help. Okay, I'm going to start by trying to set a toilet up in this corner over here. We'll take out this random abyss-like structure as well. We're probably going to destroy something like a nature reserve, but ah, progress, right? I came down at the wrong time of day. Curie's now fast asleep. That's that's a shame. That is actually a big shame. Uh, we also need to set her up an electric grill so that she can fry some of these mushrooms. This is going to be a little bit awkward, actually, because we don't have things uh, like some power setups up and running. Hmm. Thankfully, the robots can just work overnight whilst Curie has a little snooze. Feeble human. Fe feeble duplicate, even. These, these robots have no consideration. They're just like, yeah, we'll just dig out the tile. For yeah, she's up instantly. Okay, look at that. I, I kind of would like her to come over here and build all of this. Unfortunately, Curie likes to dig more than she likes to build, but we could probably set the robots on that, right? So if we go, hey, Curie, let's just kind of bring your digging down and push your, your building up. Let's see what happens when we do that. Hopefully, we're going to get new ladder, new uh, new kitchen stuff like this up and running pretty quickly. Yeah, okay. B brilliant. Brilliant. That's good. Rocket pad. That would be good. We could bring Goddard down. Because, like, here's someone who looks like they want to want to come down here, right? You know, I've, I've turned the priority of the rocket platform up. It's already had all of the materials delivered by the robots. So, hopefully, Curie's just going to go up and make it happen. Also, this Trailblazer lander. We could, we could rip that apart as well. That would be more useful materials. Is she going to be able to do it in one build cycle? This is the question because, of course, she is holding her breath. So, who knows? Oh, the robots come to rip my, my lander apart. Okay. I mean, that's kind of rude, but fine. I, I suppose we could deal with it. All right, so we've got an... Ooh, got an achievement. Yay, I do like achievements. What, which, which, which one have we got? Soft launch. Build a launch pad on a world without a teleporter. Didn't we do that already? No, I suppose we've been only to places with teleporters. Uh, so now we get to go back out to the star map and we go, hey, th this this guy, you should totally change your destination to here. Okay, that's that's great. I, I I hope I hope we're not now stranding it on my uh, my my rocket on my asteroid here. Hmm. I mean, it it shouldn't be too hard to build ourselves a steam box if need be. Okay, here we go. Rocket is landing. I'm looking at the amount of fuel we've got there. That 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 looks not great if i'm to be honest oh i mean we're probably going to do things like deconstruct the trailblazer module because we don't need that anymore and also panic about the fact that we've got no ladders here yeah <laughs> okay we're going to try and strip this rocket down to its bare minimums get rid of these trailblazer modules like power uh, cargo nose cone stuff like that 
And these are probably more important than anything else we're building. Other than the toilets. I mean, the toilets are kind of important, right? I mean, let, let's let's change the destination. Let's see. Three out of three. Oh, we, can, we can do it. We can return home. Okay, that... That was kind of scary, actually, if I'm to be honest. We've not even pulled the, the, the modules down yet. We're going to carry on ripping those down anyway, because I feel like the uh, influx of materials would be handy. Okay, ladders, definitely the highest priority. Toilets, then second. Get get someone cooking at some point. I wonder whether Goddard can take on the skills. Probably not an idea to, to look now, but he, he could become a gorilla. I think we're probably going to send Curie that way, though. Uh, looking at the morale, maybe, maybe not. Who knows? Oh, God, I decided he could help build. Brilliant. Beautiful. Okay, we're going to start shortening our rocket as well. Re reducing the burden on the, the engine so maybe we can travel a little bit further. Okay, so we've dropped the... Uh drop the burden and uh no no we've not in not increased the range at all so it was lucky that we can actually make it all the way that, that's good okay we've got a composter going up but we don't have any dirt right now and the only way we can actually get hold of it i think is to break through this bit of abyssalite yep we've got the power now curie is with us so we should be able to just go through here and just like dig some of that dirt out that that should be great is god i'm gonna come along and do it we are they just gonna eat raw mushroom is that that actually a thing that's about to go or he could be putting it in the fridge i suppose let's have a look cook supply we we still need to tell someone that they know how to grill though that's that's definitely a problem where is curie right now here's the question she's gone round uh, she's going to the toilet but where where was she going what was she doing where where had she been i don't know but whilst we sit here and watch Curry trade sanity for infrastructure, I'd like to take this moment right here to thank the people I trade my sanity with, my Patreons. Scrolling up the screen right now, you will see a list of names. Names of people that have taken the time out of their day and the money out of their wallets. They went along to Patreon.com and pledged a monthly amount of currency to help keep my computational device computing. And I find that very important. I think that's one of the most important things in my life right now. So I would really like to say thank you so, so much, guys. Okay, things have not gone too well for Curie over the past couple of days putting in this nice little, um, I'm going to say, access way here. Why is Goddard saying he needs to, to get food? Got food. And one of the easiest ways we can actually start fixing the fact that everybody is stressed is to start implementing a few rooms. Nice and easily, we've managed to get ourselves a latrine, a plus one. If we can put the latrine up to a washroom, we get a plus two with that, but we need some plumbed... Oh no, what's, what's going on over here? Ceiling collapse. That's fine. That's fine. That's not a problem. Uh, if we can get the plumbed toiletry up and running, uh, that, that would be great. Unfortunately, to do that, we need to be able to deal with water and the water sieve works off filtration medium. We, we don't we don't have any of that here for now, so we'll, we'll, we'll figure that one out at the moment. Uh, another quick and easy room that we can get set up is the barracks. I would like to set bedrooms up uh, uh, underneath here, have a, a few bedrooms and then a communal toilet at the top, uh, perhaps a great hall over on the left. But I think for now, we can just build a set of barracks at the top here. Small little three-person bunk should do us well. That will get us another point of morale and hopefully start boosting up uh, Curie's stress levels. And, of course, the other one is the mess hall and great hall. We can get the mess hall fairly simply. I might even just build another one underneath here. Maybe move the kitchen. Of course, this is the main reason why Curie is going around just eating all of the food. That's her stress response. If the duplicates get up to 100%, they go around and do that stress response. Spots. Some of them are ugly criers. Some of them uh, do ah, uh, they do all sorts of stuff. She's literally gonna eat all our food. I don't know what else we could do about that. We're just gonna have to hope that Goddard can get in there and eat some food first. Would you believe it? There is this tiny, tiny bit of abyssalite stopping us from being able to move on with the build. Maybe if I put these ladders down here, we'll be able to climb up and in. But even on a top priority... Where, where has she gone now? Where has she gone now? Okay, she's working on it now. She's ready to dig. She, you can notice that because she did her stress response, it dropped down 40%. It's immediately starting to build back up. But uh, hey, at least she's all right for the moment. If we're still using these buildings in like a hundred cycles time, just 
call me out in the comments, please. Th this is this is supposed to be temporary until we can start getting some plastic fired over to here. Of course, before we can get the plastic fired over, we need to start figuring out our power system. We've got like a hydrogen source under there. We've got ourselves over here a uh, natural gas geyser. I believe one of the other covered ones are also natural gas geysers. So we should be able to get some power up and running. What have we got over here? Cobalt. I mean, the, even just taking the heat off of these things should provide us with enough power. What has this guy done? Oh, he shut down. Oh, no. Oh, well, rip, rip that one. Where, where's where's the other robot? Can we... I, I feel a little bit sad. To, you know what? I'm going to leave them. I was going to deconstruct it. Oh, look, here's the other guy. Wow. Okay. Oh, that's heart-wrenching. Actual heart-wrenching. Can we recharge this? Is that a thing we can do? We need to find an asteroid with lightning so we can bottle up some lightning and bring it back for the rovers, right? Is that is that what we do? I mean, that, that would be exceptional, wouldn't it? Recharge them with the power of lightning. Okay, Curie's using the bedroom. This should help, hopefully help her stress just just a little bit. I don't, I don't think it's going to, is it? So the low morale is causing us a 15% drop per cycle. The soggy feet, unfortunately, is something that we, like, we can deal with, but it's going to take a while. Uh, and the problem is that we need 11 morale for our skills, and we're only getting 5 at the moment. Yeah, that's, that's going to take a, a lot of work. Even with the bedroom and stuff, I don't, I don't think this is going to be enough. Obviously, we need better food. Ah, oh, it doesn't class as a bedroom yet either. Okay, that's that's unfortunate. We need to get this roof done. Floor, ceiling. And the whole time, Curie's just getting a little bit more stressed every day. And somehow, even without the metal or the bedroom bonus, uh, Curie's back up to regular morale. I'll, I'll take it. Unfortunately, the stress is still a problem. Sopping wet, appreciated. So the, the, the sopping wet is, is a definite problem here. I've been going around trying to fix that as and where I can, but if we go down into this water, I'm not sure what we can do about it. In fact, I, let's, let's mop all this up. And, and this. <laughs> Okay, now just soggy feet and we are dropping in stress. This is good. This is very good. Okay, we've got two sealed rooms that pass for what they're trying to be. The metal it could do with a roof on it, but I think we're doing okay. We'll get the plus three morale bonus there. And the barracks, we get the plus one. Of course, latrine plus one over here. And in fact, if we do have a look at Curie hiding out inside the capsule over here. Let's grab hold of her and follow her. Uh, we can see that the stress is dropping. It's slow going though, 74%. Hopefully while sleeping, everything will sort itself out okay get the upgrades of this place working a little bit faster we're gonna need to start building some stuff here is an interplanetary targeting beacon we should be able to get the uh the good folks of Pyaxlin to be able to fire some stuff across to us here i think we're going to just go ahead and build another little temporary system for now at least we until we can get a proper power system up and rolling which i don't think will be today's task but we can totally drop drop this this down here and start having to go at the natural gas geyser right now i just want to be able to set up so that anybody that does come across is not going to starve to death but is also going to be able to get materials from elsewhere why why is this still going up what's what's wrong curie what's wrong you are a uh, cold low in morale oh man there's there's a lot going wrong here and why that pop teardrum is definitely the problem though that is definitely an issue did someone say horrific temporary hacks well yes that's exactly what we're doing also going to need a payload opener. I think I'm going to put it down here. This ladder doesn't need to go all the way down, does it? I mean, it, it might. Maybe we'll put it over this side. Curie's really got out of whack with her work cycle. Do you reckon if we just move her now, she'll just be awake for a little bit longer, but just a little bit tired? Maybe. We can hope, right? Yeah, you know, give, give her a little power nap in the in the mid-afternoon and then she will like catch back up by the, by the middle of the day Well by the end of the day, hopefully and everything should work out. Okay, right? That's that's how that's gonna work That is how that's gonna work Yuri. Okay, targeting beacon is down. It does need charging though. That's fine. We will get to that Oh, I haven't even thought about where we're gonna put it over on this side What I need to do is find somewhere to go into the the rocket tree here and use the interplanetary launcher I suppose ideally I want to put it here, but look at all this stuff above 
I wish there was a way of separating out all the different types of jobs. Ruben here is the only person that can actually go ahead and do the digging on a lot of these, like the granite and stuff like that. We need a high level digger. And it turns out the only person on Pyaxlin who can do such things is uh, Ruben here that somehow loves it. Let her do it anyway. But she's coming along and doing things like the building of the tile, whereas th that's not what I need her to do. I just need her to dig out the tiles. Yes. But of course, like until she does, no one else will come along and uh, build the granite tiles. It's 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 a bit of a bit of a catch twenty two system there, and I don't know a, a way of making it any better at all. Panic at the end of the logistics build here. I forgot that the rad bolt generator would need a way to cool it down, so I have very quickly thrown up a little cooling loop here. You know what? I'm just going to go ahead and connect this up. We'll figure out how to get liquids into it in a moment. We'll just do that. Beautiful. And we need to now get some liquid. I don't care what that one or this one. I mean, I'll even take that one or this one. Just someone, please bring me some liquids here. Uh, we should be about to drop the rad bolts out of the rad bolt generator it turns out the interplanetary launchers require those rad bolts i completely forgot about that i have turned this one off i've put the little disabled symbol on it i want to know whether the rad bolts will cruise on through or are they going to smack uh plank in the face there okay let's deconstruct that let's uh let's see if someone can come along and break that maybe not the best timings 47 out of 50 okay that, that, that's fine i think we are going to rip that down before it tops up i wonder if it updates whilst i'm looking at it or whether it needs someone to come along okay what what's what's up on highest there we go i didn't didn't need to have that being a panic so we've got liquid coming up through this little patch of radiant pipe here. It's swapping temperature with the liquid, the crude oil that we've got dropped off. Uh, and behind there, we've got a little bit of drywall. I don't know if we can actually see that in, I don't know, the mineral overlay? No, no, no. Turns, turns out we can't. That's a, that's a bit of a shame, but there is a bit of drywall back there made out of granite, making sure the liquid doesn't evaporate to space. Okay, so how's this going? 49. Uh, we've we got to see this one more piece go. Well, some of these things do take some time to happen. We've been sat on 49 for a little bit now. So long, in fact, that people are going, uh-huh, okay. It didn't touch any of them. That's very disappointing. Why? Just because we don't have the uh, the destination set. Is, is, that, is that really it? Is that really it? Oh, no. It takes, it takes a whole day. Okay, one small messing with the timelines later, we should be able to actually put these liquids back in place. Who's going to be bringing it? Plank, beautiful. Where are you even bringing it from? Doesn't matter as long as you're bringing some liquids. And hopefully this rad bolt generator will now be able to make a delivery to this one. That That's kind of what I'm hoping. I want to be able to bypass one and turn the other one on. Just just for science you know just to make sure that it's a thing that can actually happen okay i, I will uh, bring us back when this has got up even at fast speed here it's going to take a little bit of time to charge this up yeah okay it doesn't look like it actually wants to update whilst i'm looking at it okay that, that's that's very interesting do you think now is the time to okay great we are charged or rather it has received enough rad bolts to start thinking about charging if we have a look at the delivery overlay here with conveyor loader and i want to send some filtration media we've only got sand for now uh turn up the priority nobody nobody wants to oh, wait wait allow manual use there we go uh even then plank is quite a way off that plank plank of course being the person who's going to go around and do most of the storing at the moment maybe we want to turn this down to an eight rather than a nine let's see what that does for him stores the granite again it's not what we're after maybe that's because of this this one let's turn let's turn that one down as well okay so there's the last job for that store granite again really okay okay well he didn't do it because he wanted to let's let's force him <laughs> okay so a whole bunch of sand just got delivered we can see it being passed through the materials overlay here it's going into our interplanetary launcher i don't know minimum launch mass is 200 i wonder what the maximum is i mean that's the, the oh did you watch that go so something went something fired if we now have a look at our star map there there's a little little shell going out it reckons it's going to take 50 seconds i think we can wait 50 seconds to see what's going to happen of course back over on pyaxon we are waiting for the red bolt generator this is this is why we need to uh 
Well, this is why I had to reload the save, because that's going to take a little while to travel, a little while to charge. I wonder whether we can make this a little bit more self-sustaining. I definitely need... Oh, no, back on Pyaxlin, sorry. Definitely need a better Radbolt generator setup. I'm sure we can get something on the diagonal and everything firing down to a reflector. That would be the ideal way of doing it. Okay, so over on Blagolia, let's, let's check the star map. We've got... 11 seconds 10 9 8 are we going to count it down is that is that how we're going to do this there's 5 4 3 2 1 and somewhere there we go it should poof come on down now we need to wait for tomorrow morning though curry is eating paku fillet there i, I the farming paku definitely top one of the top of, of my agenda on this particular asteroid i have quite the checklist that we want to do for this place but we need to make sure that we can move materials around i think i'm going to put a nice little refinement point up here if i could put the uh, the water sieve there i mean that that would be nice wouldn't it Okay, Goddard making the moose, picking up the interplanetary payload here, comes across it in the form of a bullet, because of course, how else would you send stuff across interplanetary space? I mean, I, we, we do have the option of using the rocket at any time, of course, but this is the way that we're going to be moving a lot of the materials around. It gets put in this weird little payload opener, can opener goes... On. I, I was kind of expecting the duplicate to hang around, but oh, okay, we don't we don't need a duplicate to be involved in here. That's fine. I'm not sure where the materials have ended up. Oh, wait, I need to I need to build an output. <laughs> this may be more tricky than I thought. Mechatronics engineer, is there a way of just opening this out? I don't think there is. I think we actually need to build the output. Okay, well in that case, we're going to make someone even more insane. Okay, Curie's only two steps away, as opposed to Goddard, who would have to learn the majority of the path. So I guess we're just going to max her out. Oh, she's not she's not going to like that at all, but it does mean I can do this. And just like that, we can't see because Curie's disinfecting. We have sand coming out of the materials. Great, we've now got a nice delivery system set up and ready to go. But with that, I'm going to have to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you guys next time. But we're going to make this rock a little bit more livable. Power, definitely number one on the agenda. But I will see you then. Oh, when we're going to do that. Maybe food. Bye!